Hey, what's up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 14.1, expected release dates, and new features you can expect to be coming to your iPhone with the next major update with iOS 14.1. Now, as we know, Apple released iOS 14.0.1 with minor improvements, which by the way are working perfectly on iPhone 11, such as Wi-Fi improvements and other battery tweaking and improvements as well, but there's still Plenty of room for improvement, and I'm going to go over some of the latest rumored features to be coming to the software, as well as expected release dates, as I mentioned. So let's dive right in. Now, as we all know, the Apple event High Speed is going to be on October the 13th, and to add this event, there's no doubt that there will be the new iPhone announcement. I know you guys are all excited about this one, as well as I am. So yeah, new iPhones definitely coming with new features, and that could unlock a set of new features for older iPhones as well that Apple may be hitting within iOS 14 until this event goes by, right? Because they don't want to show off some of the latest features that pertain to newer devices uh, before they release those devices. So if Apple announces new iPhones with new features that could trickle down to iPhone 11 as well, then those features could be revealed. Who knows what type of features we'll see. But we'll talk about expect the release dates first. So the event is on October the 13th. So if history is any indication, Apple will most likely release RS 14.1, which is the next major update on the 13th or the 14th right after the event, if not definitely the following week of the 19th. So yeah, Apple has been definitely working on this software and the uh, release for RS 14.1 is just imminent. But what about new features? Well, at this event, we're also expected to see a new HomePod Mini, a cheaper, smaller version of the current HomePod with slight improvements as well. Now, that can also unlock new features and AirPlay capabilities for the older iPhones or previous iPhones and the new iPhone 12, and that could also bring improvements to the Home application in that regard. So yeah, new features for HomePods and the Home environment uh, could be coming our way with 14.1 as well now some users are complaining about the battery on the iphone now i can't really complain on iphone 11 or 11 pro it has been a great experience for me so far although i do say that ios 14 isn't up to par in the battery department with ios 13.7 for example but it's definitely in the right track and there's definitely time for improvement or room for improvement in the battery department. As I mentioned, it isn't up to par to iOS 13 as of yet. iOS 13 still performs better in the battery department, but Apple with 14.0.1 is definitely improving the battery here. And with 14.1, we could continue to see more battery improvements for all iPhones across the board. Of course, fingers crossed for that one. With 14.0.1, Apple did address a lot of the Wi-Fi issues that I was having. So big props for Apple on that one as well. Now, this one is running iOS 14.2, and there's new emojis available with this software, but of course, 14.2 will not be released anytime soon. This software, 14.2, could be expected sometime in uh, mid-November, maybe, with the release of the second badge of iPhones. We'll have to wait and see for that, but 14.1 could also include the new emojis for everyone worldwide because Apple has yet to deliver these emojis for everyone. They're currently only available for developers on 14.2. Now, you remember this wallpaper UI that was running around the internet, it was spread around, that was set to be coming for iOS 14, where you can set a wallpaper and then change it to a gradient wallpaper. Well, I'm hoping that Apple finally releases this new wallpaper UI with iOS 14.1 as well. By the way, if you want the wallpaper that I'm rocking today on my iPhone here, iPhone 11, links of course will be in the description, but hopefully we'll see the new wallpaper UI where you can change the gradient and also make it look something like this. It would be pretty cool to see this new UI finally be delivered with 14.1, fingers crossed. So yeah, new home uh, features, maybe for new home pods, new battery improvements, new emojis, a new wallpaper UI could be a thing coming to iOS 14.1, and who knows what else could be coming with this software. And as I mentioned, is right around the corner, maybe on the event, Apple will announce the software to everyone without any beta testing, by the way. This software uh, could be pushed to the general public as early as the 13th or the 14th, upcoming week here so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below are you guys excited for the iphone event are you excited for the new software let me know i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys real soon peace